Emerging market consumers really are going to be critically important in the future as we think about the, the size of these markets. Right? Most businesses would see very little growth in developed countries and the growth is entirely coming from emerging markets. So if as uh, marketing folks we don't know about what is going on in such a significant part of the global economy, then we wouldn't be uh, doing what we're supposed to do. The question is basically if you see one person trying new technology, is that going to be sufficient to move your prior uh, over to believing that the technology is good, uh, or do you need to see multiple people trying the technology? Do you need more data points than one? Now, a question you need to ask yourself is if this is the nature of a certain social reality, if not the complete social reality, and if there are agents, market agents, situated in this context. Uh, we were looking at the trajectories of advertising in China versus Taiwan versus Hong Kong and uh, seeing some convergence from more information-based advertising to more emotion-based uh, advertising. India and China are the two biggest markets and are supposed to be in the next 10, 15 years the two biggest economies. And there are many companies in this part of the world that I believe in the next 10 years are going to be playing a very, a very main role in shaping, you know, what is it that globalization means for the world. And this key question, this whole debate could be considered as an extension of whether competition fosters innovation. I thought marketing is the area with the most number of acronyms. Once I got into the, the, the health area, I discovered there are many more acronyms than, than there are in marketing. Consumers are evolving very fast in both China and India. So there are lots of interesting kind of a consumer behavior for the marketers to study. One of the things that uh, the conference has done very well uh, is bringing together a variety of perspectives uh, on marketing, all within a short two-day period. We had the political economy of land sales. Uh, you had things about the impact on entrepreneurship. And I think all of that can, I think, inspire researchers to really think about variations and variables uh, more broadly than they would get at a typical marketing conference.